Hi, I'm Nicole Blair. I'm the Sales and Services Coordinator here at the Greater Grand Forks Convention and Visitors Bureau. If you're an event planner that's looking for a way to do online registration, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the event planner tool so your participants can register and even pay online. The first things that I'll need from you are the name of your event, the dates of the event, where it's being held, and also your name and contact information such as email and phone number. Once we have that, we'll be ready to go. To get to the event planner tool, you're going to visit our website, www.visitgrandforks.com. You're going to click on event planners. Next, you're going to want to click on event planner tool, and that will bring you directly to the login page where you can enter your username and password, which I will provide for you. Next, click Login. This will bring you to your home page as the event planner. The event information lists all the details of your event. To edit this, you're just going to want to click Edit Event Information. So first you're going to need to enter the event dates, followed by the official title of the event. Next, we're going to enter the location, whether it's at a hotel or another location. And we'll select which hotel it's being held at. Next is the event planner username and password. This is the password and username that I would have given you. Feel free to change it if you would like to do so. Followed by the event planner email address, which I will always set up to be me to begin with, and you can always change that as you wish. Next is the phone number of the person um, for the participants to call if they have any questions. And then you're going to want to enter the username and password for the participants. And this can be anything that you would like it to be. Um, this is something you're definitely going to want to advertise so the people who need to register have that information to do so. Next is the display form. This gives the participants the ability to actually register online through the website. So you click yes to that. Then participants have a button that will appear on their site um, asking them to register online. The e-commerce form is the ability to pay online with a credit card. You can turn that on or off. The site does process the credit cards through a place called authorize.net. Finally, we have the printable form. This gives the participants the ability to actually print the form through their registration site. Here are the form fields that are automatically created with each one, such as the name um, of the person registering, their organization address, phone number, and email address. And you have the ability to either include those or not include those. And you just click the little checkbox that says include to have those um, appear on the registration form. Then we have the description of the event. You can put as much or as little as you would like in this box, but you do need to put something in there. If you would like to attach a description, uh, you can just enter in here, please see attachment. And same goes for the agenda. You can enter as much or as little as you would like, but you do need to have something in there as it is a required field. Again, feel free to put um, something about C and attachment, and you can, down here, attach logos and documents. Next, you're going to hit submit, and that will save all of your changes, and it'll bring you back to your home page so you can move on. The next section is hotels. This is where you can add any block that hotels have set up for your event. You're just going to click the add a hotel block. You can enter the property, followed by the room block type, whether it's a suite, a double, a single king. You're going to enter the room, um, the room block size, whether there's one or a hundred rooms or however many rooms there is, and the price of the rooms. 
This is very important. You're going to want to make sure you enter the expiration date. This is the date that the hotels will drop the rooms if they are not blocked. And then of course you're going to need the arrival date and the departure date that the hotels have and you're going to click submit and that will add the block to the hotels section. Next we'll go to additional form fields. This is where you can really create the event planner tool to be very, very specific to your event. You're going to click add a form field and this will bring you to a page where you can enter what they call a label. This can be any question that you need it to be such as what size shirt would you wear or do you need a vegetarian meal. You can select which type of answer you would like your participants to give, whether it be a single line text where they can write in a message or a multiple line text where they have a lot of space to write in a message. The check box allows for multiple selections, so that would be a good option if you're looking to give your participants more than one selection. The radio buttons in the drop down list only allow for one selection. Now, when you click on the checkbox or the radio buttons or the drop down list, it will give you options 1 through 10. You can fill in the answers according to what your needs are, and it does give an, a place for the cost to be entered. If there is no cost, you can enter $0. When you're all done, you just hit submit and it will save your questions. Next is your registrants. Once you have people that are registered, you'll be able to click on registrants and all of their names will pop up underneath here. There will also be a button to your right that will ask you if you would like to export the data into an Excel spreadsheet. Finally is the payment data. Once you have people registered, if they do pay online with a credit card, their names will appear down here along with the date that they successfully paid. So that is how the planner tool looks from the event planners side of it and how you can enter all of your information for your planners to see. Now let's go to the participant side so you can see what they will see. So event Participants are going to also visit our homepage, visitgroundforks.com, and they will go ahead and click on Event Planners, and they are going to click Event Participants. This will bring them to their login page, where they will enter the username and password which you will have selected and provided for them. Once they've entered their username and password, then they will click login and it will take them to their home page. This is what their home page will look like. We'll have the name of the event on the top and this is where their, the description will show up that you have entered and then the agenda. This is the registration button where they can actually click to register online. So this is their registration page and again this is all the information that you would have entered on the previous page on the event planners page. So here they can click multiple selections from the checkbox. Here are the radio buttons that only allows for one selection. And then here they have a text box where they can enter their answer by typing. Finally, we have the payment information where they will enter all their information on their card and they can hit submit and that will actually submit their registration. On the right hand side, there is a button that says back to ho event home page. They click that, they, it will take them right back to their home page. On the right side of their home page, it lists the event information, the dates of the event, and a phone number to contact which you will have entered in case they have any questions. Again, they can register online or they can print the registration form themselves. Once they have registered, there will be a confirmation number that will show up on the top of their page in green letters confirming their registration and if they entered an email address 
they will also receive an email with their confirmation number as well. When they are all done, they can hit log out and it will bring them back to the login page. Simply follow these steps and you should be good to go. However, if you should have any questions, please feel free to either call me here at the Convention and Visitors Bureau, 701-746-0444, or email me at services at visitgrandforks.com.